Welcome guys. <clears throat> uh, today I was testing a lot uh, to make this possible. So what exactly is this? This is uh, Asus. Uh, one second. Asus Vivo Vivo Book 16 Pro Horizon 5800H Here you go to how to install uh, macOS on Ryzen. So here I will update everything. So basically this is the laptop and uh, this is uh, a working EFI to run Mac on Ryzen ViewBook. 16 uh, so yeah let me show the specs so we can see Ryzen Radeon graphics and I wanted to show the project which is called Uh, here is it. So these guys for no threat. Mm, their site is down. Interesting. So anyway, this is the their GitHub site. So here, uh, this no threat text. Uh, is basically how we can run uh, Mac with accelerated graphics on Ryzen. So I just want to demonstrate. Uh, it's a valley, but uh, because I am recording now from the same machine, but I will try. Let's run this. So currently I am recording and uh, this is running. So this driver is uh, is not it's actually in early beta. So they don't have final release. So basically I'm testing some some of their beta builds and uh, we can see we it's uh, can run Uni Engine Valley. So OpenGL is working. OpenGL is working. Uh, even the YouTube uh, 1080p videos are also working up to 4K is working so I'm not sure how much is used the GPU but it's is being used so we can see 70 FPS it's not bad from this text so, okay I just wanted to show you 
that uh, open jewel is working. So, how this magic works? Uh, I spent approximately two days to work, and uh, I can show you now. Basically, this is my boot UFI. So, what is working? The sound I patched its work. Uh, so, here is ACP. You need to patch this to work. Here is some workarounds. Um, it's complex, it's complex, but if you have such a laptop, I will uh, explain and leave everything into my site. So, uh, basically, uh, go to iot.dev into the forums, go to the uh, software and installing installing mac on amd ap horizon systems so here i post uh, here is one guide but it's not enough for you to run this on the laptop so there is some parts missing uh, i'm still working progress because uh, the my touchpad is not working yet i still need to fix it and uh, of course, uh, I want to make uh, the USB into the right way. They are working now, but I need to map it. So, basically, if I want to try Ventura or uh, Monterey, I will need to just uh, patch uh, this uh, USB. So, they need to work. Uh, uh, after uh, because after if I want to update uh, for example to Monterey or to Ventura I need to patch this still I'm learning but I, I'm just showing now uh, what I learned so uh, I started with Catalina but uh, Catalina uh, it gives me black screen, so this text is not compatible with Catalina. So it's installer, installer is working, but after you boot to the, after you install the operating system and boot, uh, it will crash. So it will give you black screen. So uh, minimum version you have to start with Big Sur. So as we can see, Safari is working perfectly. Uh, let me try something. Uh, speedometer. So this is a uh, web test. I test this before. It gave me approximately 200 points. Uh, but uh, it's the same in, in Windows, in Chrome. Uh, one thing that I want to show is uh, you need to disable uh, so I'm half having more stuff opening in background that's why score is a little bit less but first time I tested give me like uh, uh, 200 points so it's normal for this laptop is cheap so still it's feel very fast. Safari is working perfect. And if you type YouTube, uh, and we uh, 4K video, no copyright. So here is let's open system. Uh, 
Um, we can see the CPU load is not much. So basically, we have hardware acceleration at some point. Um, if this indicator is right, we have hardware acceleration. So pretty much uh, the system is doing very well for just uh, ah yes uh, I can see now we can hit GPU time and my Camtasia recorder basically is using the GPU so so this program which is uh, capturing video from screen is hardware accelerated now so some codecs are hardware accelerated I am not sure which one but still I am in test mode so I just wanted to record this video and to because no one uh, give like user experience how is feel and stuff like this so I just wanted to to make this video to show uh, how well this case is doing in uh, Big Sur. So this is IMD system. Uh, of course, as I said, uh, there is some stuff that is need to be done. Like uh, you need to have kernel patch for just to replace some instructions. So when the macOS checks the CPU, it basically emulating uh, Intel instruction I'm not sure it has how exactly it's done but this is the patch and it's working so uh, a lot of stuff basically this is the EFI so you have your EFI here and you need to place this on USB flash or to copy on your uh, NVMe drive. So it's up to you. If you don't want to mess with your uh, main operating system, you just use external USB flash. But uh, this is the magic. You need to configure this uh, open core, which is a bootloader special bootloader and uh, this bootloader do, doing the magic plus this drivers and kicks officially OS Hicks do not support drivers on Vega integrated GPUs so really amazing works from um, this team uh, let me kernel so the text name is noted noted red so video video is 1080p basically for everyday use uh, this laptop is very useful like this uh, Wi-Fi is not working but I can replace the Wi-Fi card so this MediaTek uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card will not work sound is working uh, so this is basically like quick intro if you want me to test something, please leave me the comment below so I will make uh, future videos with uh, Monterey, with, with uh, Sonoma maybe better. Uh, so we will have more testing, but this is for now. If you like my work guys, uh, please like and subscribe. See you soon.